Iceland's Ring Road is of course full of iconic stops and unbelievable views. However, if you venture a little further off the beaten track, away from the main tourist circuits, it opens up an entirely new adventure. Stunning landscapes, all to yourself. Some inland areas of Iceland can be tricky to get to, with F-roads, river crossings and off-road vehicles. However, this isn't an F-road. This location is easily accessible by two-wheel drive and gives you access to landscapes and hiking trails you won't see on the main road. So if you're looking to explore a more unique side of Iceland without the hassle of driving those notorious F-roads, then Fat Gill should be on your list. The further we drove, the more it felt like we were on another planet. Eventually, we turned the corner and were greeted by the most scenic campsite we'd stayed at during our time in Iceland. Set on the canyon floor, you're surrounded by towering green, mossy mountains. So this is that girl. It's a beautiful little campsite kind of tucked into a canyon about 15 kilometers inland. And it's really beautiful here. So we've kind of set up camp as far as parking our van, I suppose. Gonna make a quick bit of lunch if we can. The wind isn't really cooperating with our cooker and it's super windy here today. And then we're gonna have a bit of a hike and see some views, hopefully do a bit of photography and see how it goes. So let me show you guys what they have here for a cooking shelter. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's this big cave with a bunch of dining tables in it. You've got a couple of different grills and barbecues. And at the back here as well, you've also got this log fire with a big chimney that runs across the ceiling and all the way kind of back out of the cave there. So it's a great little spot later on when they put logs on the fire and they light all these tea lights. It's pretty special and a cool place to actually get out of the wind, which has been nice. So we've decided to do a small trail, kind of a 12 kilometer return this evening. Might better just about to see it in the mountain behind me here. Apparently there's some really good views over the valleys from up there. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, why am I dressed in so many layers when it appears to be sunny and pretty much summer? It is June right now, but it is so incredibly windy. There's kind of like a winter storm coming through and the wind is just piercing through every layer that I have. But still, we're gonna persevere and head on up. So those were words Brooke may soon begin to regret. We're now about two kilometers into this trail today and the wind is not giving up whatsoever, but the views have been pretty insane so far. And we're actually heading up this peak up here and hopefully the views will be even better when we get there. That's if we don't get blown over before we get there. It can be a little bit hard to portray how windy it actually is I think on camera but bloody hell. All right. This is getting old. Go around there and see how terrible it is. Getting just smashed in the face by ice shards now. Yeah, it's nice. Oh god! So last night's attempt obviously it wasn't successful, I had to turn back from that hike. It was impossible to walk, let alone do any photography. But we've got another little trail in mind that we think might have a good viewpoint. And the wind seems to be kind of almost nothing to 100 kilometers an hour in, in seconds, but we're gonna give it a go and hopefully we'll get some good views from there this time. So this is the trail that we attempted yesterday, the red trail. I think we got to about here. The summit was about here and then we had to turn back because the wind and the ice being blown through here was just absolutely horrendous. So today the plan is to do a little bit of section of this purple trail here. Probably not go into the ravine, but just head up through here and hope we get a bit of a view off the back here. 
It's only 250 meters of elevation gain rather than five or 600. So hopefully it won't be too bad or as bad anyway. Yeah, we'll give it a crack. I have to say, not having blisters is really good. Thought you were gonna give us a good quote like, at least I'm not at work. <laughs> Billy, you should like make a little montage of this trip and that should just be how it ends. Just me walking ahead list for not at work. <laughs> Hiking attempt number two. We actually managed to make it to our viewpoint today. This is the viewpoint that we were aiming for. It is still windy as hell, but the views are incredible. Just behind me here, you might be able to see we have a glacier and it's huge. And then down here, we have these kind of black volcanic riverbeds and then these kind of really impressive green mossy mountains just sticking out straight out of nowhere. So I'm gonna try my best to get some images. It's so windy that I might not really be able to commit to uh, getting the tripod out, but I'm gonna give it my best shot, that's for sure. So the truth is, I've kind of struggled with the photography in Iceland so far, which kind of seems a bit odd to say because that's what it's known for. But like in honesty, like a scene like this, like it's so impressive to look at, like this hike is incredible. Every view is just better than I expected, but trying to capture that on camera in a way that actually portrays it in real life, like how good it is in real life is really difficult, proving really hard. And I'd say everything we've been to so far in Iceland on this hike and on the ring road has surpassed our expectations. So I've seen pictures of a lot of these locations before by lots of different photographers. And then you get there and it's actually much better than you could have even imagined, which I mean, it's not a bad problem to have, but I think I've got a couple of good ones on here. So let me know what you think of those in the comments below, but I'm just gonna enjoy this view for a bit. So we ended our day making our way back to camp. Very glad we battled through the wind with some great pictures in hand. If you'd like to know more about that girl, feel free to ask questions in the comments below. I highly recommend you give it a visit if you are in Iceland. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.